Hey guys, this is Food by Faith Garden to Table and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Shaka Faith Thompson and I'm a Zone 8A gardener and I love to show you how to go from garden to the table. Today we're going to start our quick little tour, pre-vacation tour that is, in our kitchen garden. Luna, out of the kitchen garden. Out! So if you guys can remember, if you look at some of my earlier videos, I planted different herbs in our kitchen garden here and the reason why I call it our kitchen garden is because it's right off my back porch so whenever I need something I can just come right here and pick it up so here I have banana mint I have chocolate mint and throughout I have lemon thyme I try to keep it weeded very well Over here I have what is called a pink candy pop mint and it is pretty good. We have hostas here and like I said throughout I have the lemon thyme. Some more hostas, lemon thyme here, hostas. Here we have some mullein and then our dark purple opal basil. We're going to walk over here to our flower garden and inside of our flower garden here, I have my watermelon for watermelon wars. So the tendril is still not, well actually it is, the tendril is looking kind of brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through and I'm going to pick it. If you guys remember my last video, I showed you that I had a cantaloupe, a midget melon cantaloupe over here that was ready, and the worms got to it. So I have another one here on the vine, if you can see it. Um, it's nowhere near ready. And all of this here is my watermelon vines. I put them here in the flower garden this year because last year i tried to grow in a pot and that did not work out over here we have our butterfly pea flower we have the lavender one that's growing here and here this is the white one it actually has already started going to seed i have two seed pods on it and then we have the double blue purple or excuse me the double blue and it looks absolutely amazing and with these you just pick them off the more you pick them the more they'll grow if I don't use them fresh then I sit them on my kitchen counter and I let them dry and I have a jar so that I can use them whenever I want to ahead and get all those off over here we have our Jamaican sorrel and it's doing pretty good I have one plant here if you can remember I got a seed from team Benson I got a seed from the New Orleans gardener and then I also was able to receive a plant from someone so I have one here two and in the back there is three we're gonna come over here and what we're actually going to be harvesting today is going to be our banana peppers because like I said, this is our pre-vacation harvest. So we want to get everything that's ready this week before we leave. Uh, me and my husband, uh, we celebrated 19 years on July the 24th. We were married July 24th, 2004. So this will be our first year actually taking a vacation for our anniversary because our household is transitioning. We have kids going into the military, going into college. We decided that this was a great time to be able to take a vacation. So it is really, really hot. Ah, ah, ah. Dogs are always trying to get into the garden. Soaker 
water hose going. Our sage here is doing absolutely amazing, but here is what we're going to be harvesting are these beautiful banana peppers. And I'm actually going to be pickling these. And this year, instead of doing a bunch of eight ounce jars, I'm gonna do the 12 ounce jars. That way, if I need them in a recipe, I'll have the 12 ounce jar. And then if I just need them for sandwiches, the jar still isn't that big. So we're gonna get all the ones that are ready. And as you can see, we have a lot that are ready. Our plant is still actually flowering. So that is why I'm using the snips. There's a spider. That's why I'm using the snips versus just tearing them off. I don't really like to tear off my vegetables anyway, because if you still want your plant to produce, you don't want to tear the plant up. But these are an awesome size. This has been one of my best banana pepper years ever. And guys, while I harvest these, I want you guys to take a look at these peppers here. If you can zoom in here, if anybody can tell me what kind of peppers those are, I would really be happy because I have absolutely no idea. I lost the tag for it. So I do not know what they are. And one thing I wanted to show Miss Linda was she did talk about this on her lab one day because I was complaining and telling her about the leaves on my fig trees looking funny. And she told me just to leave them alone because what it was is they would fall off and then my plant would then fruit. And if you could take a look here, she was absolutely correct. Look at the little figs. And this is my Chicago hardy fig that I got from Baker Creek. And when you get the plants in, they're about this big. And look how far they have come and actually are starting to fruit. So that is very, very exciting. But guys, I'm gonna continue harvesting all the rest of these banana peppers. I'm going to show you um, the finished product of me pickling them, and that'll be all for now. I will take you, um, take you all along with me on my vacation so you can see all the different places that I go and, of course, all the different plants that I see. So until next time, remember to always get up, get out, and grow something and have faith in our food, and we'll see you the next time.